All right, in this recording, we're going to go over some uh, techniques on how to make a stencil. And then later on, we'll have show you how to do uh, decals. So right now, we just want to add some, uh, some tagging. And tagging is pretty relatively uh, flat. And so there's nothing really projecting in and out. So I'm going to show you how to add some simple uh, tagging on here. So uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, Photoshop and on Apple Z, uh, a couple of features. Um, so right now uh, we've got 3,000 uh, by 3,000 uh, pixels here. So maybe I'm gonna go really high on this. I, I did this and it became kind of pixelated. So I, obviously this is taken from the internet. Uh, I think it was a free site, so anyways, uh, educational aspect of this. I'm just showing you how you can grab something from the internet. And right now we want to reverse this. So basically I had this on several layers. I hit command E and make it all uh, onto the background layer. So once you have that selected again, you want this uh, uh, correct ratio. Uh, and you see I have 30, 3508 pixels by 3508. Uh, you can type in 4K or 5K textures in here. But the, the big thing is you just want to make sure it's completely square, a 2D format of that. And also, uh, whatever you want your stencil to be, you want to be white. So basically, I'm just showing you how to reverse that or invert it, right? So we're going to go to Adjustments and hit Invert. Again, this is all in one layer. If you have multiple layers, you may want to uh, hit Command E and pack it all down to one uh, layer. So we're going to hit Invert. And so that turns the background to black and uh, my text to white. So I'm going to go ahead and save, save as. I'm going to save it as a PSD. Uh, again, my stuff was kind of pixelated out, so you may want to uh, up this to a larger number. So I just called this a, a stencil test uh, dot PSD. I'm just throwing it on my desktop to just add more clutter to my desktop. And I'm going to hit save. Right, it's going to say, I hit replace because I've done this before, right? So what we want to do is bring this into uh, Substance. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Substance. And uh, you can go ahead and see it. So I want to see if I can uh, delete this. Let's see. It's not going to allow me to delete it. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import it in. So we're going to go to File and Import. And we're going to import uh, resources, OK? So later on, we're going to export uh, mesh and textures uh, so we can bring this into uh, Unreal Game Engine. But Import Resources, go ahead and click that. We're going to add a resource. And we're going to go to my cluttered desktop. It has all kinds of loveliness. Uh, and we're going to hit stenciltest.psd. So we're going to hit Open. And uh, we want to put this in a specific area. Also, we got to tell what it is. So right now, it's undefined. Sometimes it'll know it's in like a normal map or something like that. But so usually, you kind of have to tell what it is. So we want this as a texture. We don't want it as an alpha or uh, whatever these other uh, pull-down tabs are. So we're going to hit texture. And we kind of want to tell it to go to, uh, we can tell it to go to our shelf. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go, go into our, our dumpster 3. It may uh, override the one that I already have there. So I'm going to go hit import. And you can see it uh, show up here in my texture. All right. So sometimes you may have to do a, a, a search, uh, whatever we call that. Uh, so if you can hit all, it's going to show everything. And then you're going to go to textures. Or if we had, had done our shelf, a uh, specific shelf, shelf we could have done that so we're going to go to shelf textures and it should show up down here so we can see our image is showing up here all right so we're going to go ahead and uh we're going to lock this into a position so we can go into instead of perspective we can go to ortho which should should uh snap it let's try that again uh, so usually when you hit shift it would uh lock it okay so you have to hit alt uh, just like in Maya but then you can hold shift and it will lock it into uh, a position 
Now this is graffiti. It doesn't really matter if it's completely flat. That doesn't really matter. So what I'm looking at is this little flat spot. You can tag wherever you want. Uh, so we're tagging legally, right? We're not on site uh, breaking the law. So right here, we're going to tag uh, this little area. So there's multiple ways of doing it. I'm just going to do it really quickly, and then we're going to go into uh, the other features uh, down the road, and I'll show you how to clean this stuff up. But we really don't want any bumpiness to it. It's just going to adhere to the surface. And so we're just, uh, again, this is baby steps. I don't want to spend too much time on this. So we're going to uh, add a fill or add a paint layer. So I click on here, and what that does, it opens up this attribute. If we had done a, a layer, this would not have popped up. It would have been a different thing. So uh, we have an alpha layer, we have our stencil, and we have, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these different modes on, okay? So, but we do wanna add a stencil. So we can either click on here, or we can click and drag uh, to our uh, stencil. And you can see uh, right away, we can see our uh, stencil uh, showing up. So you can hit uh, Alt and zoom in and kind of move this into position, or uh, just keep that into position and we hold S. And we can kind of uh, use our middle mouse to oscillate, and I'm still holding S, or S and zoom in and out. And I don't think, and left will, uh, you know, rotate it if you need to rotate it. So it probably would have a na natural rotation to it because I don't think anyone who tags would have that perfectly. All right, so again, just kind of rinse and repeat and make this a little bit smaller. We want this kind of a small tag. Okay. Again, we want this uh, snapped. Hit S and I'll make it a little bit smaller. Again, I'm using S and middle to kind of move it over. You may have to move it several times because it's kind of transparent, hard to see. All right, so now we have uh, alpha, and this is our brush. And so we're going to go ahead and type in brushes, and you can zoom around. It doesn't really matter uh, for this one. Uh, we're just going to go straight and push this pretty hard since it already has a natural texture. I don't think we need to add any other textures on top of this. Again, this is low bar stuff. I don't want to go spend uh, three weeks on this, but uh, again, quick. And so right here, you can look at your brush size. If it's too big, you can scale it down, uh, flow rate and all that. Again, we're just kind of slapping it on. So I'm doing just a traditional white, a solid color, uh, knowing that if you tag, it's going to be a solid color. So it could be yellow, red, whatever you want. I'm just going to do white and uh, just kind of smear this on. Okay, and you can see uh, it's going on there. Oops, Ooh, Apple Z. You can see you don't want to go too far. Make sure uh, you don't add the other stencils that will kind of look kind of weird. All right, so if we look on there, you can see the height and my roughness. I'm gonna go back down on these. Uh, because it is actually protruding a little too far. I d actually don't want it to protrude at all. Okay, just kind of uh, put that on there. Metallic. Again, taking off the metallic, it was doing some really weird stuff. So go over it a couple times, make sure you're happy with it. Uh, different paints have different reflective qualities. Okay. And then once you're done with your stencil and you want to get this out of the way, I think, uh, not sure what that X does, but basically what you want to do is turn off your stencil. You just go to this X and we'll click that off. And there you go. There is your stencil. So we hit shift. You can see how the color reacts to it. Again, once it's stenciled on there, that's kind of solid. So uh, you can see where I was talking about how it got a bit mappy. So higher the resolution on your PSD, just go ahead and go up to 4,000 or 6,000. It doesn't really matter. Just go really a little bit higher uh, for the quality of it. Because once you project it on there, you don't want that illusion of uh, reality of, of that look. So again, this is pretty good clean vector graphics. It doesn't really look uh, too 
realistic, it's kind of too clean. So we'll get into how to uh, add some other uh, generators on here to kind of break that up so it's not uh, too perfect. All right, so we'll stop there. I want you to just go ahead and go online and find your own tagging uh, stuff and remember uh, to uh, what to do and Photoshop, you know, you want the background black, solid black, and you want your stencil uh, white or, or your tagging elements white. All right, I'm gonna stop there and just go and let you guys do at least one or two tags per side and uh, have fun. This is the fun part adding uh, this. And then next we'll work on decals. We have like a safety decal that we're gonna add here. So we're just gonna start populating this so it looks a little bit more realistic instead of just a rusted out dumpster. All right. Good luck, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon.